<laughs> this is so trippy. <laughs> Again, just to make sure we're clear, no jumping clothes guard. That's a no. Again, it looks good when we're demonstrating it, but if the mats are slippery, we're moving around, she jumps, and she doesn't land anywhere near my hips, she can land on my quads, my knees, and I'm pretty much out for a year. Same with the Kani Basami guys, nothing to do with anything involving flying uh, body weight of any kind. I do Kani Basami, she moves back, I don't land on her hip, I land on the quad, the knee, and I'm sure there's plenty of videos you guys uh, have seen of accidents. So, also, if we're wrestling, I'm not shooting and driving my partner into another group. If I see another group and I shoot my double, I'm gonna say stop, we're gonna move our partner, into a vacant space, and we're uh, gonna go back to uh, the position we were once in. All right guys, situational awareness, just keep your partner safe, keep other people safe. All right guys, three, two, one. Let's grab a drink of water. And uh, Jason Nolf, Gino Morelli over there, they will be teaching, uh, like I said, wrestling for, for Jiu Jitsu, uh, Penn State wrestlers. Guys, it's a huge opportunity to have two high level guys teaching wrestling, especially uh, for, for our sport because the wrestling is so, so bad. And so we have, yeah, I mean, let's be honest. So we get to pick their brain, we get to learn something. So I'm really excited for that, and I, I hope all you guys are excited for that tomorrow. Again, 11 a.m. tomorrow. They're gonna be here from, from what, 11 to one? All right, sweet, 11 to one, yeah, so it's a huge opportunity. Now, guys, positionally, we're gonna be looking at EBI overtime, uh, the back. We're gonna do three back positions. I start behind my partner, like so, Guys, let's make sure that we're not cheating. So as the guy uh, on the attack, I'm not raising my hands high, we're not starting here. Opponent <laughs> has their head on the bottom side like so, they lock up a body triangle. From here, very important guys, I'm always monitoring the hands, so I have my two hands on top of the double unders like so, so I'm monitoring the hands. From here, I'm simply looking to take my head to the bottom side, which is pretty easy because all I'm gonna look to do is push towards my partner, bringing my knees to my chest, walking and getting my head to the opposite side like so. From here, I look to take my knees, pointing them to the ceiling and getting as perpendicular to the mat uh, as much as possible. Now, all I look to do is look in the direction of my partner, lengthening my left arm and coming around and locking up some kind of pseudo headlock in this position. From here, I'm gonna bring my knees to my chest. I'm gonna do a whipping motion where I take my left leg over my right, and then uh, once I pendulum over to the opposite side, my right's gonna go over my left, and we cut inside. Remember guys, we don't wanna be in a position where we have extended arms. I wanna bring my elbows, retracting them back, and making sure that we don't have anything extended for our partner to uh, create some kind of offense, submitting us or sweeping us right back with some kind of shoulder crunch, uh, whatever the case may be. So, one more time guys. From a person who has you in the back position on a, of an EBI overtime round and they're simply looking to stall and get uh, the ride time win, we take our hands over the double unders from here, I bring my knees to the ceiling, I walk to the opposite side, and now we have the bottom head position. From here, it's easy for me to point my knees to the ceiling again, and getting as perpendicular to the mat as I possibly can. Guys, a very important detail, I have to look towards my partner. It's gonna be difficult. I can extend my arm, but I can't really bring my arm around the head to lock up the headlock that I need to isolate my opponent's upper body. So I simply look towards my partner, I lengthen my left arm, and now it becomes relatively easy for me to lock up the headlock. From here, I bring my knees to my chest, I bring left over right in this whipping motion, I go to the right as far as I can, and then as I pendulum, my right goes over my left, we whip over, we come into the close guard, we bring our elbows back so that we don't have any kind of submission threat, and we've pretty much escaped the back position, and we look to escape the close guard, but we'll look at that another time. All right, guys, three, two, one. Oh, 
dog yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Dude, I, I have a few dogs like that. Yeah, you don't have a dog? Yeah, I have a Back in Australia. I'll like exaggerate it. Oh, yeah. So, I touch the back. Just to give you that little bit extra torque that you need to. Yeah, I wasn't like, I wasn't, uh, yeah, you're more like making it good enough. He's just not giving enough effort. Effort, yeah, it's gotta be it. It's an effort thing, dude. Sure. Uh, I mean, I feel like you still need to get your foot all the way over there and rotate. Uh, you know? Let's, uh. I have to just remove it. I know. I think I. You're just. Are you just saying, I'm shooting on the yeah, come on. <laughs> come on. All right, guys. Time. Let's okay. bring it in. Hey, guys. Uh, Nick Ortiz. I'm here with uh, Martha, and she's pretty much going to explain her situation, and then I'll go into uh, pretty much the context of what I want to talk about. But first, uh, Martha, hey. Yeah, hey. hey. Nice to meet y'all. Um, yes, so I am currently three months into a 20-month recovery um, from an injury I received at a uh, IBJJF tournament in the Gi, um, an absolute master one. <laughs> um, and essentially, uh, we were at stand up, it was the last minute of the round, and she went to jump guard. And by the time she came down to land, I had already kind of changed my position to more lateral. So she came down on that lateral aspect of my knee and my foot was planted. Um, so it was immediate injury. I mean, I felt it immediately. My whole leg essentially felt like it exploded, which is pretty much what happened. Um, so a week after that happened, I had surgery. I had total um, avulsion of MCL for my femur, a total tear of ACL, a bucket handle, flip and tear of my uh, meniscus. I had tibial plateau fractures. Um, I had um, cartilage fractures, so essentially I have like no cartilage left on that side, so and then about six weeks later after that I had a second surgery to remove scar tissue and kind of work on manipulation. So it's definitely for a five second sort of move, a huge uh, debilitating injury. So it's been a, it's been a road. <laughs> Martha, thank you for, for sharing. Yeah. Again, guys, whenever we uh, train at the B team uh, gym, the facility, we want to make sure that we uh, prioritize safety first. So I never uh, am going to allow jumping close guard, Connie Basami in the training room. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense, especially if you're just coming in to have a good time, you want to train, you want to get better, and then out of nowhere, something that could be easily avoided, turns out you're now in a position where you're recovering for almost two years. So, uh, Martha, again, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, and just absolutely. a quick side note, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and on a side note, IBJJF, I know you guys banned the, the, the flying scissor takedown, the Kani Masami, please ban flying, uh, I'm sorry, uh, jumping close guard. Makes no sense. Uh, doesn't really do anything and uh, the injury is obviously like you know just in terms of the success versus what could potentially happen it's um, yeah it's, it's pretty clear just why even allow it so thank you thank you so much thank you for sharing thank you locking up a schoolboy headlock and just creating some kind of tension with my fist okay yeah that's pretty that's pretty good from here now you're gonna look to bring your knees to your chest you're gonna no no Oh, bring your knees to your chest. You don't want your legs up high. Okay. You don't want to elevate your feet to the ceiling. Okay. From here, you're going to look to pendulum. Get your right over your left. And then as you pendulum through, get your left over your right. And begin to spin. Yes, good. Pull your elbows back. Good. No, no, no. Just go for it. Grab the glass. Squeeze your elbows. Yeah. <laughs> 
just ran out of what? Just that sweet, that was so low in there. <laughs> Try to get double unders here, Seth. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
training partners around you. Find a new partner, guys. Seated versus standing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice, bring him to the opposite side now, Seth. Make sure his back doesn't get uh, perpendicular to the mat. You gotta stay right underneath him. Slippery. 